Wait for them to ask you who you know. Please don't make any sudden moves. You don't know the life of the abuse. All my friends are heathen, seek your soul. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you haven't taken by the intro clip of this car, we're here today to take a look at uh, basically real life to game race car here on Forza Motorsport 7. So, if you guys know, I do uh, follow the Rolex series and the uh, endurance racing series and stuff like that, and I do enjoy endurance driving, racing, as well as drifting. Ooh, getting a little squirrely. So today we are showcasing this Revel Rocks Camaro here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys don't know, check this car out. This team is a very awesome team to be running in uh, endurance races and stuff like that. Um, this is actually the 2016 SS car, the version. The car is actually an SS, but it has a ZL1 front bumper and stuff like that, which there is a ZL1 paint version available as well. I'm not going to take credit for this paint at all. It was actually done by a buddy of mine, Charles, who you guys have seen on the channel. He was one of the drivers in the endurance race. He's a friend of mine as well as a co-worker. So he made the paint for this Rebel Rock Camaro as well as the tune that I am rocking today. I will leave all his gamer tag and everything down in the description box below if you guys want to download it yourself. The newest version is Rebel Rock 1. But wanted to uh, do a bit of a showcase of this car here today. We do a little grip racing here at Daytona. Probably go to Laguna Seca as well as, uh, you know, we're going to try and get this thing sideways. Because uh, this is me we're talking about, and you know we're going to try and get this thing sideways as well. I am running it on uh, H pattern, which I believe the actual car has paddles. So, but like I said, I can't take credit for this car paint at all i will leave all the information down below so you guys can download it for yourself if you want this car is not in the game and uh it's actually not in any games and my buddy charles is a big corvette chevy guy he uh owns a you know c5 corvette that he races in autocross and stuff like that and you guys also know i love chevy as well with my uh esda vet and everything like that as well as bmw but this is definitely kind of cool to have this car in the game. I know these guys follow me uh, follow me on Instagram as well as I follow them in the racing series and their Instagram as well. I will leave their Instagram tag down below in the description box as well if you guys want to follow them. It's a really cool race team and uh, they're uh, doing big things with this car and 
you know the livery it's a simple style livery but it looks really great and uh my buddy charles uh did a banger job of uh bringing this car to life here for the motorsports 7. Ooh, squirrely but well, we're good so it's definitely crazy to see this in the game because you know i follow it in real life i see all the pictures of it on instagram and uh it's an amazing looking car and you know this is the closest i'm ever going to get to get a chance to drive this uh actual rebel rock camaro so this is my way of uh getting a chance to actually uh rip it here on the track because you know i will never probably get the chance to actually ever be in one of these cars so it's definitely fun that's what you know motorsports and everything does for uh, a lot of people especially fours and stuff like that it gives the people the chance to do things that may never get a chance to actually do and enjoy it as much as the real drivers and drifters and racers do on a day-to-day -day basis so we're gonna finish this lap up here probably switch it up and of course we're gonna get this thing sideways we're gonna try drifting a race car why not because you all know that's uh one of the big things i do so we're gonna go try and go from grip to drift in this car we're not gonna modify it we're gonna go on the tune that he has and see how it does so we're gonna switch up tracks here and i will see you guys once i switch tracks so we are going to grid into laguna seca we're going to run two hot laps well one startup lap one hot lap and then of course we're going to get sideways for the last lap of the three so we're just going to go right into it so this car when we try to drift is going to be difficult because it's not race tires and it's got a lot of downforce but i'm up for the challenge we are going to go for it Hate how it starts being a weird gear. So, the tune he's got on here does feel really good, and uh, it's just a basic tune. It's pretty uh, versatile for uh, most tracks. I found that it's uh, pretty grippy, and uh, it's a pretty quick, oh, pretty quick tune. So the reason that he did do it on the SS. And uh, we were talking about it was because it is the closest to replicate power to weight ratio of the real car so the purpose of this was to mimic the car as much as close to real life as possible as we could here in Forza Motorsport 7 so for power to weight ratio and stuff like that using the 16 SS was whoa, squirrely was the best option for the deal there is a paint scheme for the ZL1 uh, in the game, but of course the ZL1 has a lot more power. Why is that so bouncy? Well, bouncy bouncy, but we're good Feather off throttle there didn't want to over overstep my throttle Get a little little skatey It's got some decent turn in the tires are not fully warm yet. Well, there we go probably took that turn a little bit more cautious than we needed to so if you guys like racing and you guys like basically the you know, endurance race series the weather tech series and stuff like that make sure you guys check out this tune and this paint scheme i will leave like i said i will leave his gamer tag and everything in the description box below so that you guys can go download this yourself if you guys want it's definitely a car that you will not see in the game otherwise because uh well he is the first one to make this livery possible in the game for this specific race car so it's definitely a cool thing to have it in there and be like basically one-off paint so far so like i said i will leave his this in the description box below if you guys want to download this and everything yourself and give it a shot and i'm pretty sure uh the rebel rock guys would appreciate the uh support of their car here on Forza Motorsports 7 as well as in real life. Like I said, I will leave their Instagram and everything down in the description box below if you guys want to give them a follow. I'm sure they would appreciate the support. As well as follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you are not already following me. As well, I would appreciate the support. We got pretty squirrely on that course crew. And uh, tap and like this button if you like it. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber i do appreciate all the support and all you guys come back to the videos well i guess that just means it's time to go sideways so we're just gonna go sideways now it doesn't have drift suspension so i gotta be very 
careful about my angle. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Can a race car drift? Well, we're about to find out. I'm sure the Rubber Rock guys would not enjoy me doing this in their real car. Quick flip throttle. So used to uh, cars with uh, not so grippy tires and race suspension, but we're going to make the best of this right now. Oh, no. I mean, we can try and do as much as we can. Lack there of angle. A little clutch kick to save ourselves. But we're not doing too bad. We could be doing a whole lot worse. That is for sure. But this tune is definitely not meant to drift. But uh, we are making it the best we can. So make sure you guys tap that like button, subscribe. Do appreciate the support. Don't go in the tires. Don't wreck their car. Oh, I don't want to wreck their car. Oh, wreck our wreck this car right in front of them. I feel like they'd be a little bit mad. Big thank you for letting them, you know, for them let me borrow this car. But a big thank you to my buddy for making this amazing paint scheme and bringing it to Forza Motorsport 7. I didn't think we were going to be able to hold that. We can clutch kick that out though. Oh god, I remember Forza drifting when there was no drift suspension. Angle or lack thereof was a big thing. So as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. Uh, don't die. I'm you rabbit. I will see you guys next time. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, just a tap. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna let up.